Hey guys, what's up? So today I'll be doing a video review of a game called Mighty Mage. So this game is pretty cool. So first off, I'm gonna get through the some information. So the price of this game will be four dollars and ninety nine cents. It will be a double stack, which means you guys can buy it once on the Windows and also once on the Xbox. If you guys do buy on the Windows, you can co connect your uh, Xbox controller through Bluetooth, uh, you know, on your computer, your Windows computer, and you can play the game. Uh, buy your controller on the windows as well so you buy this twice one fresh boss from windows it is going to uh, have a 20 percent release discount so um, you guys can get it for 3.99 if you guys buy when it first releases uh, it will be available on the xbox and the windows store on july 14th of this year 2023 so money mage is a small um, roulette arena survival game so you select one of the four elements and acquire a variety of upgrades select different spells to become stronger and create or power builds every run so it has up to 20 waves four elements lots of spells to choose and other updates it's auto target battle approach quick runs survive 20 waves this is a quick basic game it's nothing complex nothing too challenging could be a little challenging if you're not too good at these type of games but on that it's pretty easy and straightforward so this game has a very very easy uh 1000 g achievement completion so if any of you who are like me achievement hunters this is a perfect game for you you can double stack and for eight dollars get to 2000 g's so it takes you about 45 minutes to one hour to get the full 1000 g's not too hard at all so quickly to get the, the full 1000 g's you want to play as the fire water and the earth elements and do all 20 ways on each of them and that's it you guys get your full 1000 g's so the last one the last element you guys do not on the all over in the right side the yellow one you do not have to actually do that to get the achievements but you can play for um as it for fun so all you pretty much do is you choose and upgrade each after each wave and you go down and you start the wave and then the enemies will spawn so you only have five like five different enemies you have these green slimes right here you have the bats and then you also have a water a fire and like an earth and like electric maze as well so these um quickly between each enemy the gun pretty much the bats and the green slimes will come at you every enemy is a one-shot kill pretty much besides the green slimes um the green slimes and the bats are the only enemies that attack you while the mages pretty much just throw spells at you and they run away so the game controls are pretty easy all you want to pretty much do is you can either hold down the shooting the shooting button rt or you can just keep rapidly pressing it to shoot faster and to move a little faster if you hold the shooting button down you move slower and then you press a to pretty much do like a boost and you can dodge the enemies that pretty much recharges every couple maybe like five ten seconds that's really it i mean it shoots automatically for you it, like i said in the beginning it auto targets the enemies and whatever power-ups you guys do buy is automatically applied you don't press any spe special button for it you're just pressing rt for the trigger and then you're pretty much pressing a to dash away from the enemies and you move around with the analog stick that's really it that's the only control you have to worry about after each wave you guys do have um random pretty much um upgrades you guys can buy from some of them give you more health some of them just automatically Give you more health to the 100 percent that you already have um and then other ones are like power upgrades and some of them like increase your critical rate damage and increase your your damages for your regular maze or maze that you're shooting and so on so there's only like maybe like eight different upgrades or something like that so and the enemies are recurrent so like there's only these five type of enemies so um this game is really fun like i said it's really basic it's pretty simple um you can get a hit but like in order to actually die you must be pretty bad at the game like it's it's a pretty easy game relatively to play it is a short game as well with only being up to 20 waves and i, I believe it's like ran maybe random enemies or might be the same enemies but um the amount of enemies is the same per each round on raid 20 you have the 80 enemies and you know every wave gets a little harder a little more challenging and also a little more enemies but relatively it's a really easy game to play that is once you get used to controls which is you know very easy and quick you pick up the controls within like five minutes of playing this game so i do want to mention guys i am doing a giveaway so um i'm going to have the pretty much the rules inside the description and the rules are really simple and easy guys um to enter the giveaway all you guys want to do is comment down on my on this video saying enter giveaway and then put down either if you want the windows 10 version or the sbox version or if you don't care put down sbox or windows 10 or you put on sbox dash windows 10 and then you guys make sure you follow me on instagram which is at nation of supercars and also on twitter which is apple tech stop one i will be checking to make sure you guys are following these rules and that's really it so once you guys follow me on instagram follow me on twitter and then comment down saying enter giveaway and then put down windows 10 or at spots or put down both that's it you're entered in the giveaway i would then do a raffle and pretty much choose somebody to win 
Uh, I only have one code to give away for the Xbox and one code to give away for the Windows 10 version. So keep in mind, they only have, there's only two winners total. Um, I won't make the same person win twice unless you're the only person that's going to enter the giveaway. I do have a small channel, guys. So pretty much, I mean, don't, I mean, definitely enter the giveaway. Like, you know, there's a good chance you're going to win. I probably only get maybe five, ten people entering if so. So it's a good chance you're probably going to win. All right, so I went over with what this game has to offer and the controls and all that kind of good stuff. I uh, also just want to mention some downsides of the game. Um, hopefully the, the developer is watching this video and they can improve on this kind of stuff. It's still, you know, pretty much when you're watching this video or when I'm releasing this video, the game just came out. So it's, you know, obviously it's brand new. Hopefully the developer does put some updates in this game to make it a ton better. But I just want to give some of my suggestions so the developer can keep this moving forward in the back of their head and also maybe apply these changes to the game which i think we all can agree on so first off you only have 20 ways i mean the ways to get challenging i think the developer should add more waves right even like up to 50 waves like that's definitely a lot more challenging um you know i think a lot of us would appreciate that it gives us more time to you know play the game and more out of our money so i like that stacked you know it's pretty good uh, the achievements are not too easy not too hard the game's not like too easy not too hard the game can be a little challenging it's definitely a little more on the easy side but adding more waves will fit that you know making it a lot more challenging so i think that's a good thing um i like how the achievements are not right away like you, you have to somewhat play the game for a little bit to earn achievements which make it a little more you know deserving and uh, rewarding playing this game but I do think that if not, at least on wave 20 alone, that every least every 10 waves or just on wave 20, as of right now, the developers should add like a boss uh, on that wave. I think that would make the game more fun and intuitive and, you know, add enemy, um, a new enemy. But also just add more enemies. There's only like five enemies, like I said before. So I think adding more enemies uh, would definitely be a benefit to the game and a lot more fun for the users. So another thing is add more maps. This is the only map. It's pretty small. I mean, just add even the maps could be small. Just add a couple maps. I think that'll be a lot more better. And I think the last big change, like the best change, I'm saying the best for last, is to add like a multiplayer. I know like with most multiplayers, you have to add like a server, which could cost extra money and all that. But I think the game can definitely do a lot better if it did have a you know multiplayer. Like even if there's like a local multiplayer, I mean. Still, you, you want like a live multiplayer, but anything's better than nothing. But yeah, I think do like a test run of like a multiplayer and see how good that does. But I love to play this game with my friends. I think that'll make it a lot more fun and maybe even like revive your friends and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that'll be pretty cool. And I think I mentioned this, but like I said, the game does come out on July 14th. So uh, make sure you guys do pre-order it to get that 20% off. But yeah, I think I mentioned everything. The game is very fun. I mean, it's very easy. It's very basic to play. So if you're looking for a game that like not too hard, not too easy, you know be done like an hour and get the full 1000 g's and it's you know pretty cheap i would definitely recommend this game i mean it's it's fun it's basic it's just it could get a little boring like playing this like three times in a row to get the full 1000 g's as different mages the mages don't really have too much of a difference i don't know why i find the water one to be like harder like it does like less damage but i don't think that's the case i think it's just they're all the same besides you know one shoots out worths one shoots out uh, water and one shoots out fire but i think they're all exactly like the same like damage wise and all that kind of stuff so so furthermore just give this game a try and let me know what you guys think about it in the uh, comment section and definitely enter that giveaway it does not hurt to enter because there's a good chance you guys are going to win but other than that i will catch you guys in the next one like comment subscribe and peace